Jerry. 
evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brahma Stadium in Omaha, Naples, Texas, where the Hughes Green Mustangs are about to kick off to the Paul Pewitt Brahmas. It's Northeast Texas football is best on Channel 54. Nigel Franklin and 10, Jesus Ryder, deep for the Paul Pewitt Brahmas. There's the kickoff of short. Then Kenny Drake feels it at the 25-yard line. There's a scramble for the ball. Looks like Hugh Springs has got it. The ball bounced over Desmond Jones. He couldn't handle the ball. Wright got there late, and the Mustangs recovered the ball. So Hugh Springs coming up here to score the Paul Pewitt Brown the phone coming. Gets a break early at the 25-yard line of Paul Pewitt. Taking the time. 
So what will the Hughes Springs Mustang do? Fourth down and less than. They could punt, they could fake it, they could throw it, they could run it. Lots of options for the Mustang.
to 23. It looks to me like Paul Pugh could have this one easily if they wanted it. But two fumbles. Three penalties for 20 yards. That left the huge screens in pretty good shape. They're moving inside the 25. Nick, Hampton Morgan in the backfield for the Hugh Springs muscle. The pitch is to Morgan, it's to Hampton. He's brought down for a loss, looks like. Back to the, the 26 yard line. That's a three yard loss. Good defense by Paul Pure. Second down, 13. Ball set to the 26 yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. Paul Pugh at seven, Hugh Springs zero. We'll be back after these messages. Freddy's Auto Repair, Highway 144, one mile south of Omaha, is a proud Brahma booster. Freddy Joyner has 34 years experience, with 15 of those years as an AFC Master Certified Mechanic. Freddy does all types of general and automotive repair and an engine rebuilding. They're also high performance and rear axle specialists. They offer the latest computer diagnostics. Freddy's Auto Repair, located one mile south of Omaha on Highway 144. Freddy's Auto Repair, another Brahma Pride supporter. First National Bank of Hughes Springs, Omaha office, offering free checking, senior citizens accounts, check card debit card service for your checking account, personal loans, home equity loans, real estate loans, 24-hour customer service. Our lobby is open 9 to 3 Monday through Thursday and until 5.30 on Friday. Our drive through is open 8.30 to 3 Monday through Thursday and until 5.30 on Friday. First National Bank of Hughes Springs, Omaha office, a Brahma Pride supporter. S. Mart of Omaha, Highway 67 and 259, another Brahma Pride booster. Open 24 hours forever. We feature gasoline and diesel. Fresh delicious food from our deli. Soft drinks, milk, bread, and snacks. Friendly people waiting to serve you at our checkout counter. Need to rent a movie? Look at our big selection. And we own our own laundromat right next door. We're a proud Brahma Pride booster. S. Mart, open 24 hours forever for all of your convenience store needs. Highway 259 and 67 in Omaha. Okay, we're back for the second quarter. Hewitt leads 7 to nothing. The Hughes Queen has another break inside the 30-yard line. The ball's at the 26. Nick, looking to pass, has a completion to number 84 inside the 20-yard line. Number 84, Landon well, Brandon Wellborn, makes a nice catch over the middle. Ball's at the 18, about an eight-yard gain. Third down, and seven for the Mustangs. Passing to try and break that Paul Pewitt defense. Nick keeps the ball, got out, Morgan out of the backfield. Morgan makes a nice run, gets down to the five-yard line. So the pass goes to the 26 to the five. We'll go to 21. So 14 yards and a first down. You scream threatening at the five-yard line. Running back is stopped in the backfield for a two-yard loss. That was number 30. That's Morgan again. He was stood up. Second down seven. Let's think we'll probably have to go to the air to score in this situation. Although Morgan has the speed to get up the middle if he gets the block. Miles Stutz anchors the line in there for Paul Hewitt. Jermon Hawkins is there too. There's a timeout by Hugh Crane. Jonathan Schultz, number 71, is in there. 32 
Alan Fluellen also along the line. The linebackers are Kenny Webster and O.J. Madlock. Trying to go at self, though, is not a very easy thing to do. Six foot, six foot two, at least 330 pounds. A rock in the middle for Paul Pewitt. Even going around him is tough. The series between Hugh Springs and Paul Pewitt lasted or had started in 1950. Pewitt leads 18-16-1. 18 wins for Paul Pewitt, 16 for Hugh Springs. So this is about as close as the Mount Vernon series. Another rivalry that heats up every year. So Hugh Springs comes back after going over the play. Coach is still trying to communicate with Nick. He's back in the huddle. It'll be third down, second down from the seven. So let's see. Big guys in the backfield for Hugh Springs as number 63 allowing them to block. Gets the movement. And the ball is moved to about three by number 30, Drew Morgan.
four, Brandon and Wilmer. Will you please stand the class of 1975, Paul Kieran High School. We'll kick off. Wilmer, he just got the touchdown pass. First down for Deep Springs. Three for Paul Pewitt. They try the onside kick, thinking that Paul Pewitt can't handle it, but this time, looks like Kenneth Johnson covered the ball, did a good job, sets Paul Pewitt up at the 38 yard line. Nine fourteen to play. Completed one pass for 12 yards so far. 82 yards rushing. Jones gets the pitch back, but the huge freeze offense is all over him back at the 35 yard line. That's a four yard loss for Jones. Good job by the Mustang. So it's going to be second down, 14 for the Browners. Tried to pitch to Jones, and they were all over him. Jones is stepping in the backfield with none. Flanker is O.J. Madlock. Hunt keeps the ball, runs into his own man, has to pull it down. And he's brought down to number 33. Uh, 
38. That's going to be a first down. 11 yards on the carry. Drew Morgan gained 9 yards on the carry. That's Drew Morgan. So he's green, moving right. it again. Keeping possession. Keeping away from that potent okay, off field and off field. Nick's doing a real good job of running the huge screens off field tonight. Hands off to the freshman number two. Make the move. He gets down to the 44 yard line. Seven yards for number two, the freshman, Courtney Thomas. Closer to the 41, I guess. 
Nick showed what a strong arm he had. He really put a bullet on there, but he just right. was right on the play and knocked the ball away from him. And here comes Nick again to pass. And it's going to be incomplete if it continues to Welburn, but he couldn't get to it. Fourth down. Let's see what Hughes Freeze will do. Good time to pull a trick play. I was a bit, man. I think she's going to come back to the we'll side. But we'll see. The stuff is last time when he went strong last year. Right is deep, standing about the 12 yard line. 12 or 13 now. Shepard the up back. Punt from the 42. He looks like he might try something to try to knock to a nice punt that's going to put So the ball just gets into the end zone. A nice play by Hugh Springs. And they'll bring it out to the corner. Didn't look like he was watching the ball very closely. Had his back turned to the, the play. And the Hughes Queens play, player had it right on the line. It was a good play by the Mustangs. Just that close. 20 yard line, 308 to play. Hewitt's going to give it a try again. Played by Shepard. Yeah, that was strong. So the ball stays at the 20. And Michael Martinez on the tackle for the Mustang. What we got? Michael Martinez and James Fitz make the tackle for the Houston Mustangs, who have really come to play football tonight. Okay, on the play, second down. The Both teams had the easy goes last week. Bun passing, has a man deep, but he won't get to it. Almost makes the catch. Ishmael Wilkinson across the 50, but couldn't hold on. He had a couple of Mustangs on him. Left throw, 12 beer to the weak side. Left throw, left twin, three out, eight out. Hot shoulder draw again, or three. Third down and 10. From the 20 yard line. Bunn had a good pass on that one. It was sharp. He's got a screen. He's Wilkinson just couldn't quite get to it. Had a couple of Mustangs on him. A good job by the uh, pass defense. Third down and 10 yards back. He springs playing good defense. Bunn keeps the ball and turns it up. He's still alive. It looks like he's going to be about four yards on the play, maybe five. the timeout as they hold they hold Paul Pewitt again five yards on that run will be fourth down and five a long five looks like U Springs has the momentum calling the timeout to try to take advantage they don't want Paul Pewitt going in and regrouping and coming out with a good rest in a tie football game so after the punt you can probably bet on a pass or two from the Mustangs to get downfield. Hewitt not playing a really good football game right now. Kind of sluggish. Three penalties, two fumbles. One of the fumbles turned into a right huge spring touchdown. Run, the kick. Ball is at the 25. Hampton is deep for the Mustangs. Low punt. Jamie Cameron's chasing the ball as Hampton lets it go inside the 35 to about the 30. Forty-two yard. 
yards on the play. Come up with two minutes and two seconds to play. The punt by Munn puts them deep in their own territory at the 34. So Nix is in the shotgun, trips to the left. He's got a man right downfield. No check. Says that number 81. seconds off that clock. Mustangs in the huddle break. Keston Wilson, number 82, lines up a flanker and goes in motion. Nick calls the play. He hands off. That's Courtney Thomas and he gets up to the 40 yard line and puts the back. Always at the 34. Thomas gets a six-yard run. Third down from the 40. Actually, the ball is the ball just short. And Miles Stokes. Miles Stokes, again, in on the tackle, chasing the man downfield. Both linebackers were there. Kenny Webster and Matt Goj Madlock, Desmond Jones. He screams, doing a good job of moving the ball. Hurt themselves early also with Kennedy. There's the counter to number two, Thomas. And he stopped. That's Miles Stokes all over him again. Ball's to about the 42-yard line. timeout with 58 seconds to play. He springs trying to come up with something big to shock the Brainer at this annual homecoming game. He springs deep into the playoff two years in a row and two years in a row coming up short against the Mark Panthers. One of the top ranked teams in the state for the last three years. This year ranked number one in some polls, number two in another, but expected to, to uh, be in the state championship game. Teams that come out of this district will deeply catch Mark in Division II play more than likely. That yet to be determined. Hugh you, you Springs, if they get in the playoffs, as predicted, will probably be Division II team. Decab, if they make it, would be the Division I guy. So the punt from the 41 yard, 42 yard line is away. Kedrick Wright watches it bounce at the 30, takes a few at down, ends up at the 28 yard line. Hewitt will take over, 50 seconds to play in the half. Hugh Springs playing up for the run. Not dropping anybody deep. But the pass play for John Hewitt hasn't worked yet. Ball goes to Desmond Jones. Gets to the outside. A nice run by Jones. Looks like he got about seven. 37 seconds, 36 seconds to play. First down and gets out of bounds. Carries for first down yardage. Okay, coach, put number 10 
on the back. Five yards, 21 seconds to play. Hewitt's moved the ball to the 42 yard line. First down, 10 for Paul Pewitt. Friendly people waiting to serve you at our checkout counter. 
Need to rent a movie? Look at our big collection. And we own our own laundromat right next door. We're a proud Brahma Pride booster. f Park open 24 hours forever for all of your convenience store needs. Highway 259 and 67 in Omaha. Shaw's Service Center is your one-stop full-service auto center in Hugh Springs. For new Cooper tires complete with mounting, balancing, and rotation, or if you need it, repairs. Need an oil change and lube? We've got a new filter in your choice of major brands and weights of oil. Then there's our full muffler and exhaust system service and complete brake service with rotors and drums turned right here. Shaw's also has state inspections, and we still offer old-fashioned full-service fueling. For the best service, come to Shaw's Service Center in Hugh Springs. You won't believe what you'll find when you walk through the door at Jones Feed and Farm Supply in Hughes Springs. You'll find supplies for lawn and garden, a complete line of pet supplies, supplies for poultry, cow and calf supplies, electric fence supplies, packs, and feed for all your farm animals regardless of maturity. We have everything you need in one stop. In fact, there's so much, you'll just have to come by and see for yourself. That's Jones Feed and Farm Supply on Highway 250 South, just over the railroad tracks in Hughes Springs. Trico Lumber and Ace Hardware proudly supports the Mustangs. Whether you're a contractor or a weekend handyman, Trico has the supplies and expert service needed to complete any job. We have a huge stock of lumber and building products, hand and power tools, plumbing, well pumps, electrical, ace paint, and much more. For the hunting season, tree stands, game feeders, mossy oak, camel clothing, boots and waders, a wide variety of calls, and Remington ammunition. Try Trico today for your building needs and plenty of hometown spirit. Go Stangs!
Plaza in Omaha. Whether your taste runs from our fine Cajun cuisine, good old down-home East Texas cooking, or the finest steaks you can imagine, this is the place. Try a salad or one of our unique appetizers, then get ready for one of our choice steaks marinated and pit grilled to perfection. All surrounded by our warm and drinking atmosphere, so for a truly wonderful dining experience, come to Cajun Cowboy Steakhouse, Highway 67 in Omaha. Big Ten Insurance in Omaha is your insurance answer for auto, homeowners, life, business, farm, and ranch, or any other coverage. Our friendly professional staff can show you how we can tailor insurance to your needs. We're an independent agent representing Allstate and other fine companies. This enables us to find the right company, coverage, and policy that is best for you. You can trust Big Ben Insurance. We've been doing business with continuous one-family ownership since 1948. We're located on Highway 67 in Omaha next to the Cajun Cowboy Steakhouse. Or call us at 884-2376. First National Bank of Hugh Springs, Omaha, office, offering free checking, senior citizens accounts, check card debit card service for your checking account, personal loans, home equity loans, real estate loans, 24-hour customer service. Our lobby is open 9 to 3 Monday through Thursday and until 5.30 on Friday. Our drive through is open 8.30 to 3 Monday through Thursday and until 5.30 on Friday. First National Bank of Hugh Springs, Omaha, office, a Brahma Pride supporter. Come by or call Eagle Auto Glass and give us the opportunity to serve all your glass needs. Hi, I'm Lynetta. At Eagle Auto Glass, our guarantee is a real guarantee, not just help. We stand behind everything we do. Hi, I'm David. Be sure to ask about our free mobile service. I'm Jennifer. Don't forget, we repair windshield chips also. So at either location, Mount Pleasant or Hugh Springs, we can provide you with the largest selection and highest quality of cell phones and pagers around. Come see us at Eagle Auto Glass. You won't believe what you'll find when you walk through the door at Jones Feed and Farm Supply in Hughes Springs. You'll find supplies for lawn and garden, a complete line of pet supplies, supplies for poultry, cow and calf supplies, electric fence supplies, tax, and feed for all your farm animals regardless of maturity. We have everything you need in one stop. In fact, there's so much, you'll just have to come by and see for yourself. That's Jones Feed and Farm Supply on Highway 250 South, just over the railroad tracks in Hughes Springs. The First National Bank of Hughes Springs is the only bank you'll ever need. We have it all from free checking accounts, senior citizens accounts, check card, debit card service, and all kinds of loans from personal to real estate, home equity, and business loans. Then there's our voice response account information phone line that gives you 24-hour access to your account information. And everyone needs a safety deposit box for those important papers, valuables, and keepsakes. And now First National Bank of Hughes Springs has six locations to serve you better. We're the First National Bank of Hughes Springs. Shaw's Service Center is your one-stop full-service auto center in Hughes Springs. For new Cooper tires complete with mounting, balancing, and rotation, or if you need it, repairs. Need an oil change and lube? We've got a new filter in your choice of major brands and weights of oil. Then there's our full muffler and exhaust system service, and complete brake service with rotors and drums turned right here. Shaw's also has state inspections, and we still offer old-fashioned full-service fueling. For the best service, come to Shaw's Service Center in Hughes Springs.
In Northeast Texas, we enjoy the finest outdoor opportunities anywhere. If you like hunting, fishing, golfing, hiking, biking, or just being outside, this is a place for you. We have great schools, beautiful countryside, and the friendliest folks you'll ever find. If you're raising a family, retiring, or just looking for a good investment, come see me, Tom Ramsey, at Tom Ramsey Real Estate. For 25 years, we've been putting families together with their dreams. As the largest bank in Morris County, we offer the best in banking services in our region. We have the technology and the resources to provide the same services as a big bank. Recently, we've added banking by phone and the Visa Check Card program to our growing list of services. But what really sets us apart is our people. Our knowledgeable, friendly staff can meet all your banking needs. We've been here, and we'll be here. You can count on us here at Morris County National Bank. Omaha Furniture is the place to go for sofas and love seats in all fabrics and colors, for sectionals that are both functional and beautiful. Or you can relax with our complete line of lane action furniture like rockers and electric recliners. And we have that perfect bedroom ensemble you've been looking for. We also have an extensive line of electronics like TVs, VCRs, and camcorders. And don't forget our complete line of appliances that are really something to cheer about. Whatever your furniture or appliance needs, Come by Omaha Furniture. We also furnish frame of ride. How often have you heard, what we need around here is a good steakhouse? Well, here it is. It's the Cajun Cowboy Steakhouse in Omaha. Whether your taste runs from our fine Cajun cuisine, good old down-home East Texas cooking, or the finest steaks you can imagine, this is the place. Try a salad or one of our unique appetizers, then get ready for one of our choice steaks marinated and pit grilled to perfection. All surrounded by our warm and drinking atmosphere, so for a truly wonderful dining experience, come to Cajun Cowboy Steakhouse, Highway 67 in Omaha. Come by or call Eagle Auto Glass and give us the opportunity to serve all your glass needs. Hi, I'm Lynetta. At Eagle Auto Glass, our guarantee is a real guarantee, not just talk. We stand behind everything we do. Hi, I'm David. Be sure to ask about our free mobile service. I'm Jennifer. Don't forget, we repair windshield trips also. So at either location, Mount Pleasant or Key Springs, we can provide you with the largest selection and highest quality of cell phones and pagers around. Come see us at Eagle Auto Glass. The First National Bank of Hughes Springs is the only bank you'll ever need. We have it all from free checking accounts, senior citizens accounts, check card, debit card service, and all kinds of loans from personal to real estate, home equity, and business loans. Then there's our voice response account information phone line that gives you 24-hour access to your account information. And everyone needs a safety deposit box for those important papers, valuables, and keepsakes. And now First National Bank of Hughes Springs has six locations to serve you better. We're the First National Bank of Hughes Springs. Trico Lumber and Ace Hardware proudly supports the Mustangs. Whether you're a contractor or a weekend handyman, Trico has the supplies and expert service needed to complete any job. We have a huge stock of lumber and building products, hand and power tools, plumbing, well pumps, electrical, ace paint, and much more. For the hunting season, free stands, game feeders, mossy oak, camel clothing, boots and waders, a wide variety of calls, and Remington ammunition. Try Crico today for your building needs and plenty of hometown spirit. Go Stang! And Morgan are deep for the Mustangs. Not a good first half for either team. Ball is taken at the five by Drew Morgan, and he is immediately smothered inside the 20 at about the 18 or 19 yard line. Mustangs will have the ball, first and 10 and 19 to start the third quarter. You're truly trying to tell the experts how to run their cameras up here, and as usual, I'm wrong. Sorry, Tim. So the first play, long pass, they all opened up, it's the number three. Makes a real nice catch for a long first down. Set the most 
at the 44. We'll run up the middle. Doesn't get much. That was a 37-yard completion. No gain on the play. He springs up at the 43-yard line. 7-7 seven seven ball game. He springs up with a big pass play that gets him inside Paul Pewitt territory from the deep in their own. Another run. It might get a yard. Might get a half a yard. Adrian Coffey makes a play and gets really excited for the Paul Pewitt Brahmas. He's been playing well this year. Javon Hawkins also in on that tackle. and two runs for nothing. Robbie Nix is the quarterback for Hugh Springs. He's going to pass. He's got a man wide open. That's number 85. Gets inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 15-yard gain and a first down. Hugh Springs taking advantage of that call to a pass defense. First down and 10, inside the 30 of the Paul Pewitt. Bramas, Nick looking again. He's gonna pass again, makes a nice snap. And that won't go. Jones covering on the play. 85 complaining of the tackle, but it was a good one. So that's gonna make it third down 10. Excuse me, a second down and 10. Ball inside the 30 at about the 28-yard line. 9.55 left in the quarter. Nick's going to go back to the pass. Oh, and it's almost intercepted by O.J. Madlock. They tried to pass it back across the field. It didn't work. She'll be third down and 10. Madlock right in the way was headed for the quarterback. The ball got there real quick, didn't have time to react. Third down and 10 for the Mustangs. Seven to seven with the score at halftime, no change yet. 31, Josh Hampton takes the ball inside the 25 to about the 23. Six yards. Keep it right and Quinn Coffee. Defending Keep it right and make the tackle. Going to be fourth down in four and a half. Seven East Green will definitely go down. for it. A good drive started at the 19 of the Hugh Springs Mustang. Jared Duck in motion for Hugh Springs. Another pass. So, 
Bob Hewitt gets back on the field, trying to make amends for letting the Mustang drive the ball 81 yards for a touchdown to take the lead at this annual homecoming game. A large crowd here for Paul Hewitt. The business stands are also full as this rivalry is renewed for the first time in 1993. Mustangs definitely came to play. Came to play. Hewitt has it recovered from two fumbles and four penalties, three penalties in the first half. That accounted for one of the U Spring scores. A long pass of 37 yards from Robbie Nix to his receiver. Number three set up. Set up the play. So Pop Hewitt downs the ball about the 36 yard line, and that's where they'll start from in the third quarter. U Springs playing real good defense in the first half. Number 64, Steven Henderson. Number 50, Michael Martinez. Uh, Hampton and uh, Morgan are in there. Looks like Brandon Wellborn is also in there. It's hard to see some of the numbers out here. But Hugh Springs playing good defense nonetheless. Shut down and shutting down a potent offense. So this time, Desmond Jones tries the middle, and he doesn't get much. So he gets one yard on the first run. He's only got 54 yards on eight carries. He's been over 100 yards the last two games. Second down nine. Ball's at the 43. All secure. Munn tries the quick pass. Misses Keezer's right, right back to miss the tackle way before the ball got there. Third down and 10 from the 43. Third down, nine yards to go for the Paul Peel Brothers. to pass. He's got right on his way overthrows right. Nobody was close to him, but the pass was incomplete. So the Paul Peel offense not working. Munt Munn will punt from about the 43. Morgan, June Morgan, deep for Hugh Spring. The punt is away and gets a deep Paul Peel Brown inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. Thirty-nine yard punt for Munn. So Hugh Springs will be on the move again. From the twenty-four yard line. Nick is at quarterback. Wellborn is split wide to the left. Duck is the flanker in motion. Nick the quarterback. Hands the ball off to number two. That's the freshman, Courtney Thomas. Thomas gets about four yards on the play. It's a long three. We're giving four. Again, the pass is killing Paul Pewitt. 
as another team takes advantage. And the pure defense turns Robbie Nixon to an all-star passer. Next hands off. The runner is caught in the backfield for a loss. Nice play by Joe Collins, number 77. Number 32, Alex Llewellyn. Finished it off. No gain on the play. Third down and about seven. Nick is going to pass again. And he throws it away. There should have been a flag on that play too, but they didn't throw it. There was, a, there was a huge point receiver in the area. Fourth down for Hugh Springs. So Buick gets a break. It's three and out for Hugh Springs. Hunting from about the 27-yard line. A good snap. There's the punt. Right straight up in the air. Good high punt. It's going to take a huge Springs bounce inside the 40 to the 38. starts over. Try to forget the last drive. And take it from the 38 with 616 left in the third quarter. Munn is the quarterback. Shepard gets the ball. Gets a good block by Chris Evans. Moves the ball almost to the 50. They mark it at the 49 of Hugh Spring. Looked like he was going to be brought down shy of the midfield, or shy of the 45, but he carried several blockers with him. And that's the first down for Paul Pitt. So, from the 49 of Hugh Springs, Paul Pitt moves again. There he goes up the middle, that's Desmond Jones. Nobody, I don't believe he can catch him. He's down at the five. It's a touchdown for Desmond Jones. 49 yards. And just like that, we're tied up again. Jones capped it with a three-yard run for the touchdown. 
but that was a while back with 408 left in the first quarter. Since then, you screen has scored twice, quieting this homecoming crowd, but they're coming back to life now thanks to Jones's 49-yard run. It's 543 left in the third quarter, 14 to 14. Looks like Adrian Coffey is going to do the kickoff. Hampton and Morgan are deep for Hugh Spring. Hugh Spring's cheerleaders doing their job tonight, as usual. Strong group. Right now we're watching the Hugh Spring cheerleaders. They're being introduced on the sideline. But here goes Coffee with the kickoff. Gets all of it this time. Puts it in the end zone and out of the end zone. So Coffee makes his point with the touchback. Hugh Springs will take over at the 20 yard line. After not getting the chance to return the ball, although Hewitt's return team has done a pretty good job of keeping the ball around the 20 yard line tonight. So, 5.38 left to play in the third quarter. The tie is scored. It's been a good football game. It's just rivalry between Hugh Springs and Paul Hewitt is renewed. There goes a good friend, Morgan, with a flag in the backfield. And quickly, Paul Hewitt shows his speed and ties the football game. The kick is up, and it's good. Fourteen, fourteen. The score is tied. That put Jones over 100 yards for the night. Nine carries, 103. He had a 24-yard or 23-yard carry earlier in the game. That one was 49. So Pewitt's quick strike offense works for the first time tonight. Earlier in the game on the first touchdown, Jones had a 23-yard run, Shepard had a 26-yard run, and a 10-yard run. Then Jones capped it with a 3-yard run for the touchdown. But that was a while back with 408 left in the first quarter. Since then, New Spring has scored twice quieting this homecoming crowd, but they're coming back to life now thanks to Jones's 49-yard run. It's 5.43 left in the third quarter. It's 14 to 14. Looks like Adrian Coffey is going to do the kickoff. Hampton and Morgan are deep for Hugh Springs. Hugh Springs cheerleaders doing their job tonight, as usual. Strong group. Right now we're watching the Hugh Springs cheerleaders. They're being introduced on the sideline. But here goes Coffee with the kickoff. Gets all of it this time. Puts it in the end zone and out of the end zone. So Coffee makes his point with the touchback. take over at the 20-yard line after not getting the chance to return the ball, although Buick's return team has done a pretty good job of keeping the ball around the 20-yard line tonight. So, 5.38 left to play in the third quarter. The tie is scored. It's been a good football game as this rivalry between Hugh Springs and Paul Buick is renewed. There goes a good friend, Morgan, with a flag in the backfield. He doesn't get much, two yards. Holding huge strength. Couldn't really come at a worse time for the Mustangs. They really had a good drive on the last effort, starting in for 19, opening up with a 37-yard pass and a great catch on the play. 
and then moving from that point for the touchdown. Then the next series was three and out for the Ponies. And they look a little confused now. It's holding against Hugh Springs. They're just waiting for the play to be marked off. So it goes all the way back to the 10-yard line where it'll be first down and 20. And look for Robbie Nix to go to pass him again. He's got some good, strong receivers. He's in the shotgun, throws it way downfield and out of bounds. No play, incomplete pass. Nick showing a really strong arm has been pretty accurate tonight. That one was over the receiver's head. Not much he could do about it. Football is going into the stands from the Paul Pewitt cheerleaders. You gotta watch them. Some of these cheerleaders are pretty strong arms. They'll put you right down if you're not watching what to do. Nick passes again. Pass is complete, but it's gonna be for a loss. And they call it incomplete. Oh, 
Kyle Pewitt to about the 26 yard line. Yards, 18 yards on the carry. Jones, 120 yard, one yards on the night and a touchdown. Alan Flewellen's in the backfield. And there's going to be a penalty called dead. Let's see what happens. It's going to be against Paul Pewitt. Oh, it's good. 
Chris Evans number 68. He's up on his feet, but he's going to limp off. Time on the clock is 21 seconds left in the third. So Chris Evans, one of the linemen that's really done a good job for us this year, is limping off. Not good news for us. We're not deep on the line. Evans took the place of another player who was injured and then didn't come back. So the adjustment will have to be made by Paul Pugh on the extra point. Looks like Hawkins will try the kick. in the first half, stymied the Bramers. Munn puts down a hole, the kick is up, and it's good. So it's 21 to 14. Paul Pewitt has taken the lead with 21 seconds left in the third quarter. at the Hughes Springs 40. Also, were, there were two penalties on Paul Hewitt that slowed down the surge. So, it's 21 to 14, 21 seconds left. The team come out for the kickoff. Adrian Coffey will kick off for Paul Hewitt.
We'll call you at 21. G Springs 14. We'll be right back. Freddy's Auto Repair, Highway 144, one mile south of Omaha, is a proud Brahma booster. Freddy Joyner has 34 years' experience, with 15 of those years as an AFC Master Certified Mechanic. Freddy does all types of general and automotive repair and an engine rebuilding. They're also high-performance and rear axle specialists. They offer the latest computer diagnostics. Freddy's Auto Repair, located one mile south of Omaha on Highway 144. Freddy's Auto Repair, another Brahma Pride supporter. S Mart of Omaha, Highway 67 and 259, another Brahma Pride booster. Open 24 hours forever. We feature gasoline and diesel, fresh delicious food for Martelli, soft drinks, milk, bread, and snacks. Friendly people waiting to serve you at our checkout counter. Need to rent a movie? Look at our big selection. And we own our own laundromat right next door. We're a proud Brahma Pride booster. S Mart, open 24 hours forever for all of your convenience store needs. Highway 259 and 67 in Omaha.
just as Paul Pewitt has done against the run tonight. Paul Pewitt showing more speed and has bro broken several long runs that really hurt the Mustangs. Ball is handed off again to Michael Franklin. He makes a cut, reverses his field, heads downfield, he's in the 10 at the 5. It's a touchdown. So a 30 yard touchdown run for sophomore Nigel Franklin. Mustangs have a first down 
at the 43, 6.09. Coming up on six minutes left to play. Two screens. Nick is in the backfield. Flags on the play. Flag, the pass will be incomplete. Line judge has called a penalty. Let's see what it is. off the penalty six for 35 yards tonight small penalties but they've been costly and they've slowed down drives for both teams mustangs first down 15 at the 38 yard line 557 to go in the game nick back in the shotgun again he's being chased by joe common he takes off, and Adrian Coffey catches him up and runs him out of bounds. Be a short gain, if any, for Nick, who was running for his life there. That was the first time he's carried in a long time. He's been doing it with his arm and with Drew Morgan's legs. Drew Morgan, 15 carries for 39 yards. Welburn and his hands have done much damage tonight. Ball is handed off up the middle of the first back through. But he has stopped at the 39. Get about a yard on the play. That's 41 in and running back. Mario Reyes. Allen, Blue Allen on the stop for the Bremer. So a gain for Reyes. Ball's at the 39. The clock is moving. 4.48. Hugh Springs needs to get on the stick as Nick comes up to the line. One yard gain, brings up third down. Quick pass. He goes out to get whom. It's thrown out of bounds. Good coverage by Keegan Wright, number 10. Brandon Welburn. Welburn. Brandon Welburn. Seven passes caught for 84 Brandon. yards tonight. Has been outstanding. We just couldn't bring that one in. Keith Wright was there. And it's fourth down and 14. Punting from the 39 is Hugh Springs. Hugh has nobody back, suspecting the worst. And there's the punt from the 39. And it will take a Hugh Springs bounce inside the... It looks like he's going to die at the 20. 41 yards on the punt. A good punt. Four minutes, 23 seconds left in the game. So Buett has the first down now. With 423 left in the game, the ball will stay on the ground. That's the 20 of Buett. is the quarterback. Johnson splits to the right. The flanker is O.J. Medlock. Nigel Franklin, Desmond Jones, excuse me, has the ball. It's not going down easy. Gets a three-yard run. Second down to the 23. Johnson's out, TJ Pride is in with the play. 71 on the line. Johnson still up, 72, Michael Hill. Quinn Coffee is the center. Tamon Hawkins and Miles Stutz on the strong side. TJ Pride. There goes Nigel Franklin again on a nice long run. The sophomore gets up to the 35 and across. From the 23, the sophomore gets the ball to the 
36, a 13-yard gain. 79 yards and six carries. services like mutual funds and retirement planning that fit your changing needs and help make your future everything you picture nationwide insurance financial services on your side